Are you already getting sweaty palms just thinking about a urine appeal you need to make to your donors? If so, watch this video to take the fear out of this critical time of year. There's really no time of the year that's more important to a nonprofit leader than the last three months of the calendar year. If you get knots in your stomach just thinking about all that needs to be done, then this video is for you. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step plan of all the things that you need to do to have a successful year-end campaign. Hi, I'm Jim Dempsey, and this channel is designed to help nonprofit leaders increase income and become fully funded. We're building a community of individuals who want to get better with each and every effort. If you aren't already a subscriber to this channel, please do so now and click the bell to be notified of future videos. Let's get started. There's an eight-step process to success at year end. Step number one, segment your list. A successful year end strategy consists of three phases, letter only, letter and phone call, and letter and visit. Those donors who have given a single gift of $999 or below in the last year should get a dear friend letter of appeal at year end. Those donors who have given a single gift between $1,000 and $499 should get a personalized version of the same letter followed up with a phone call to see if they have questions to and confirm their decision. Those donors who have given $5,000 or more in a single gift over the year should get a personalized letter and a visit. These individuals are often referred to as the critical few. Step number two, start with the critical few. If you haven't already determined your critical few, the 20% of their donors who give 80% of your income, this is a great time to do so. For most organizations within a million dollars or less budget, this will be anywhere between 500 and 100 names. Distribute the names to those leaders who are winsome and willing to cultivate relationships with people and are not afraid to ask for a year-end gift. Step number three, it begins with a call. If you're watching this video before November 1 of the calendar year, year, you have plenty of time to make one cultivation call to the critical few before year-end appeal. On your first call, be sure to share success stories and accomplishments from their year of giving. This is always a good call to make before an appeal. Make calls the entire month of October, finishing off around the first week of November. Start calling the first week of November and going through mid to late December. The next call will include the presentation and an appeal for funding. Number four, determine project or programs that need funding and actual costs. Determine which projects or program needs funding either before year end or would be needed soon after the first of the year. Having specifics about the cause and the amount the project will cost all help you in expressing the opportunity. Be willing to ask for a specific dollar amount during your appeal. Step number five, seek matching funding. The best way to provide leverage to any year-end campaign is to have matching gifts available to offer to your donors. Going to a handful of donors who will be your pace setter or catalyst donors helps immensely. Establish your overall goal and decide to get half of that with upfront pace setting gifts that will motivate the other half to give from that matching gift. For example, if your goal is $200,000, you'd want to get 100 of that in advance in commitments and be able to use those commitments to challenge other donors using the opportunity to have their gifts matched by those pace setting investors. This is not a deal breaker if you can't get matching money, but I can tell you it is definitely a game changer if you can get it. If you have never done a matching gift effort, it will provide hydraulics to your campaign and provide you the lift that you need to achieve and perhaps surpass your goals. If you've ever done a matching gift program, let me know down in the comments section. I'd be really interested to find out how many of you have actually used a matching gift effort in the past. Step number six, write an email and follow up with a phone call or a visit. If you can craft a letter outlining the current opportunities that exist at your end, that's always best. The letter is used to prime the pump before calling or meeting with donors. 
Share a story of a life that was changed by your organization. Be sure to highlight specifics of the person and the solution that led to the change. Connect that story to your current opportunity and how a similar change can occur in the lives of an individual like the first person mentioned. Then share the ways people can give and how their gift before December 31st is so necessary. Use the end of the tax year as a convenient deadline for giving. Without a deadline, people might put off the gift and not sense that urgency to give. A phone call around 72 hours after the letter is sent is appropriate for those, as I mentioned earlier, having given a gift between 1000 and 499 Find out if they received the letter. If they did, ask them about their thoughts and if they had questions. Determine how much they're able to give. Don't ask if they can give, ask how much can they give. Assume that they can and work from there. If they didn't remember receiving the letter, explain the contents, get their thoughts and questions, and ask how much they're able to give. Number seven, set up personal appointments with the critical few. If you are able to do what I suggested and have a warm-up or introductory call in October, this call should focus in on letting your most valuable donors or partners in on this exciting opportunity. You're going to let them know about a person or project that is doing great things or will do great things and that their investment or gift will have a broad impact on countless lives. You want to share one to two stories of lives that were impacted by the effort or a similar effort and give them your funding goals and challenge them to a very specific gift. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, your gift of $25,000 before year end will enable us to do XYZ. Is that something you can help us with? And remind them that every gift given will be matched up to a certain amount, your total pay setting commitments, and wait for their response. If they need time to think about it, that's okay. Be sure to set a specific date and a time that you can get an answer. Number eight, thank the donor for a gift and report back on the results of the campaign. Be sure to thank everyone for their gift within 24 hours. It shows appreciation and respect for their sacrifice. When someone is truly an owner in the mission and vision of the organization, they will also own a portion of the campaign and the goal. Be sure to report back on how much was raised towards the overall goal and the impact that will be made. Within six months of the gift, report back on lives that were changed, giving first names if possible, and stories of the impact made from their gift. Once again, there's no more important time to have a plan of action and run that plan successfully than year end. Follow all the steps listed in this video and you'll achieve the success you desire. Be sure to watch for my next video on using a matching gift at your end. To get that video, you must subscribe to this channel and click the bell to be notified when that video is posted. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you have fundraising questions, submit those on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java or on Instagram at DevEffectivenessStrategies or email me at DevelopmentEffectivenessM at gmail.com. And as I always say, I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thank you.